All right, now, this is just a very quick overall of the magazine and how you would do it. Almost not from start to finish, but a really good background, just to, like a refresher. So it's not necessarily a tutorial in InDesign because it is more just a refresher on how you to do it. So what we would do is we've got InDesign, so File New, New Document. We, we're doing an eight page document. We want facing pages. It's A5 in size. We want just margin. This can be whatever you want, but five millimeter margin and three millimeter bleed around the whole thing. So that's going to give us our document set up and we're going to do it landscape. Okay. So if you go to the page setup, you can see you've got an eight page scene right there. So cover is going to be the cover, but just what we'll do is a double page spread. So in here, what you've got now, you've got a folder full of images that you've done with your photography. So just file, place, go back, navigate through all your images where they are. I've just got one, for example, and I'm gonna put him there. Same thing, you've got some text. In one of the sections, there was a, I've supplied you with a text file. So draw a text box. File, place, go through, find the text file that we had. It's all different text for A5, open, replace it into there. Okay, so as I, I think I say in the thing, there's a cert, there's enough text, there's not too much text. So on this page, for example, you might just have that much text. Okay, so on this page, we've got a text box here. That's our text. Format that text, there's tutorials on to do all this stuff, formatting text, what it's gonna be in, what font it is, okay? So that's completely up to you how you do it. There'll be headings, all sorts of things. This text will be a certain size, okay? What we're gonna do, paragraph space, all the rest of it. This is really just a quick overall what we're going to do. We might make the back of this certain color, so you've got this. There's also going to be a quote, so obviously you've got a photo of the person's tattoo, you've got my supplied text, and you've got a quote that was given to you. Okay, so that's, you'll just work through, but the way we're going to do this assignment is this one I prepared earlier, which is here. You've got your cover that you would do, and just say, for example, this is what one of your pages. You've got a picture that you've taken, my tattoo makes me, blah, blah, blah. there's some text, there's some heading. So that's the general design. It's when I'm talking about the first section of this, we want, I would like you to do a cover and a double page spread, save it as a PDF, submit it to me. We'll have a look at it and back and forth, discuss what could work, couldn't work. Then we'll go back and then you'll carry on and do the other pages. Okay, so that's the outcome of the first part of the last part of the sections. So when you get to this stage, um, we just want a PDF file. Everything will be done by with PDF files. So it's just file, Adobe PDF. If it was a printing job, you would have press quality and other things, but for what you'll be emailing, everything's the smallest file size. You're gonna save it as in your folder that I've spoken to you about setting up. There'll be a PDF folder, but just for this one, I'm gonna save here. A5, save that one. So you've got a few settings here. You've got spreads, which mean it will spread page four and five, six and seven together. Another good one is view PDF after exporting, so it will open it. If it was going to a printer, you want crop marks, registration, page information, and bleed. But in this case, we don't want any of that. It's just a straight PDF. Bam, bam, bam. Export. That will just chug along and that will create a PDF of that. So that the first section of the last part is to for you to design, save it as a PDF, send it off to me, and then get some bits and pieces and come back, do the rest of the thing, and then send it as a whole eight pages. But that pretty much is, yours is going to look different to mine and hopefully better than mine, because I've just done this quite fast, but that's exactly the outcome of what we're after. Okay, I'll stop that there, but it just gives you a bit of a rundown and the rest of the things are done via video tutorials. I've got all sorts that are in there. Okay, thank you.